I'd like to say shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Also give a double honor to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akim. And peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that listen, hopeful elect. And, you know, go to um quick lesson today to the, the power of Yahweh Yahweh And, you know, you know, we're the light of the world, man, the hopeful elect. Because this world is full of darkness, man. And Jake, <clears throat> man, Jake is totally gone, man. Jake is totally bugged out, man. These Jakes out here, man, they don't know where they coming or where they going. They not paying attention to anything, man. There's been so much things that happened this week. And I'll address them further on the highways and hedges from, you know, more explosions in Texas. Um, we, we had last week the bridge collapse. Um, and that devil, Stephen Hawkins, is dead, man. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we have, um, I mean, you, you, we have so much things happening, man. You see what I'm saying? There was something else happened today in the news. I can't recall. Like I said, I further addressed it on the highways and hedges. But our people are not paying attention, man. Even Donald Trump. I read an article today. Trump said that um, gloomy times is coming for the economy, man. So you, it's coming straight out of the president's mouth, man. Okay? That's something major is going to happen, man. Oh, yes. That's the thing. You had a shooting in Maryland today. Okay, another school shooting, man. Another school shooting and more explosions in Texas, man. Okay, and we see that the economy, that economy is going to crash very, very soon, man. Okay, that crash is right around the corner, man, and it came straight out of the president's mouth. The scripture says they tongues shall fall upon themselves. So Esau's plans is very clear. You know what I'm saying? This devil is not playing. But the majority of our people, they walk in darkness. See, we, we're the children of light, man. And that's what Yahweh Shai said. Let me read John chapter. So we have this heavenly gift. We got to keep showing it, keep professing it. Because this is a gift. Okay? John chapter 12, verse 36. It says, While he have light, what's the light? This knowledge that the Mosai has blessed you. Okay? Through his son. Okay? You being able to hear these words and understand it, that is a gift, man. That is the light. That's the only light, all right? Scripture says the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High, okay? It says, while he have light, believe in the light, that he may be the children of light, okay? So we're the children of the light, okay? We're the sons of the Most High, man, all right? Because we've been given this truth and this knowledge, all right, so this is no light thing, man. This is not this is not a light thing that we have. That's why it says Ephesians chapter five verse eight. For ye were sometimes in darkness. Yeah, we were in darkness. Was darkness anything outside this truth? Following the ways of this world, you know, having future plans of um, making it, you know, sh striving to be basically one with Esau and his system. Following the American dream, that was darkness, man. Because those ways are adverse to the plans of the Most High. But now are ye the, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. So we gotta walk as a children of light, meaning walking in the Spirit after Yahweh Shai, man. Use wisdom, man. Especially now, man, because Satan is coming hard body. Satan is throwing all kind of darts at brothers, man, through your flesh, through your mind, through other people, man. These people, they got, the scripture said, we don't battle flesh and blood, but principalities. So certain things are going to happen in your life, man. More people going to come up against brothers. More people going to persecute you. More people going to talk shit against you. For just no apparent reason at all, because they did to you how shy. Okay? <laughs> Our face is going to be to the forefront, man. They gonna hate you, man. And that should be in your mind anyway, man. As the children of light, since they're in darkness, they are going to hate you, man. Get used to it, man. All right? Scripture says to gird up thy loins. All right? But we still got to apply the scriptures. All right? That's what the scripture says. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24.
Let me start from verse 22. Let me start from 20. 2 Timothy 2.20 But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor. We want to be those vessels of honor, the children of light. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. So you have to be purged, you have to be cleansed, you have to be sanctified. Like the scripture says, John the Baptist says, He that cometh after I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit, which is this word, and fire, persecution, affliction. The Lord is going to put you to the fire, man. He has to put you to the test. You see? But never forget, the scripture says, He never give you more than what you can bear. So if you're going through it, you can deal with it. All right? So he's purging us. He shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified meat for the master's use so we're meat for the master's use man and what's the master's use to gather his elect the lost sheep and prepared unto every good work flee from youthful lust okay you gotta flee from that man a lot of youthful lust trying to make it in this world money these evil women see what i'm saying that's not about nothing man that, those are the youthful lusts man okay but follow righteousness this book, The Law, Statutes, and Commandments, Faith, the Belief in the Most High, Charity, Brotherhood, Peace, and with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Okay? But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender stripes. Yeah, so scoffers, man. Okay? Just like the Pharisees and Sadducees always try to find a way to trip up the Lord. You got to avoid that now. We ain't going back and forth with, with demons, man. You can't get it. Good riddance. All right. Verse 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men. Apt to teach. So we don't strive. We ain't physically fighting anybody. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual. Okay. And you have to apply these scriptures on a day-to-day -day basis, man. When the cameras are off, man. Okay. Apt to teach. Be willing to teach. Give to who it is worthy. As the Lord said patient and word for patient is to endure man okay to endure whatever illness or pain or suffering that comes your way patient man all right so we have to be meat for the master's use we got to be purged and when we get past that we're the children of light man all right so that means the lord is only dealing that's a blessing because the most high don't care about these other people out here. That's why he didn't, he didn't give them that heavenly gift. Even his own people. Majority of these Jakes walking in darkness, man. I heard Jakes the other day talking about retirement plans 20 years from now. Jake don't know what's the f yo, Jake don't know what's going on, man. Alright? Israel as a nation was supposed to be the light of the world because we received the commandments and we've received the covenants. But the majority of you Jakes, you have no clue. Okay, you walking in darkness, man. The spirit of deep sleep is upon y'all. But our job, you know, we're looking for those that are like minded. That's what Paul said, Yahweh Shai told him to do. Acts chapter 26, verse 16. It says, We start for 2015. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things which I appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, which are the Israelite foreigners, to open their eyes and to turn them from the darkness to light. And from the power of Satan unto the Most High, that, he, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. That's our job. Okay? The Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, you Israelites, it's our job to open your eyes, man. It really is the Most High, but we're the vessel, man. And to turn you from darkness to light, man. Okay? So you can receive your inheritance and be forgiven of your sins through Yahweh Shai. 
And what's our inheritance? The kingdom of the Most High. That's what we're going to inherit, man. That's what we're going to gain. That's what we're fighting for. That ultimate reward, man. Okay, forget what's in this world, man. This world is about to go out hard, man. And this 2018 has been nothing but shootings and, and bombings. Esau's preparing to do something real major. See, these are just the stages, you know, to take your guns away, to have more armed guards in your schools. You know what I'm saying? So when something happened, they just grab um, <laughs> these these J kids up and throw you in concentration camps, man. So Esau's setting the stage, man. He's striking terror on you people, man. You see, but he's doing his thing. Us as the children of light, we're going to keep doing ours, which is what? Um, like Yahweh Shai said, to open the eyes of the blind and turn them from darkness to light. And to get that reward, that inheritance. Like it says, Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Colossians 3.23 and whosoever ye do, no, remember, 23, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. So when we do these videos, we go out on the highways and hedges. This is not for men or, or, or man pleasing. Okay. This is not man pleasing, man. You're doing it for Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man, because he's going to give you that reward. He's going to set that crown on your head, Yahweh shy. All right. It's not unto men, but unto the Lord, man. So we don't give two shits what these people got to say, man. All right? At the end of the day, they can't save you, man. They can't save themselves, all right? They have no clue what's coming, man. And I'm talking about these Israelites, all right? These backward Israelites, these Babylonian Israelites, man. Verse 24. Knowing that of the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. For he served the Lord, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's who we serve it, man. Okay. But the rest of our people, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there's no respect to our persons. So there you go, man. You do wrong, you're going to get that in return. And we in a time of judgment now, man. All right. Let me read um, what Paul said, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. So he said, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Right, because we are unprofitable servants. Technically, we in debt. Okay, you in debt to Yahweh Shai. Okay. For ne necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Destruction unto me if I preach not the gospel. May curses come upon me if I preach not the gospel. That's what Paul is saying. All right. For if I do these things willingly, I have a reward, which we just read, that inheritance, all right, the kingdom. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me, what is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I make the gospel of Mashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. Okay, remain a humble man, all right? For though I be free from all men, Yet I made myself a servant unto all that I may gain the more. All right. Like Yahweh Shai told him to do in Acts 26 chapter. All right. Turn them from the darkness to light. And the only way you could do that is by being a servant, being ministers. Our brothers being servants <laughs> by doing the work. Right. Going out there week in and week out, rebuking, edifying, teaching, putting up um, shows. That's being a servant because that takes time and it takes energy. Verse 20. And unto the Jews, um, I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. All right, so it's about gaining for Yahweh Shai. So the Jews, you know, knew better, so he came at them a certain way. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. And he did the same thing for uh, the Gentiles that weren't under the law. All right. 
Verse 22, to the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. And I made I am made all things to all men, that I may by all means save some. Okay? And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partakers thereof with you, man. So, and then he said, verse 24, Know ye not that they which run a race run all, for one receiveth the prize. So run that he might obtain. So we run into obtain, man. And we become all things to all men for to gain for Yahweh Shai. That is our, our duty, man, as the children of light, man. It's all about glorifying the sun. That's the will of the most high, man. That's our job. That's what we are called to do. You know, the rest of our people, they're in darkness, man. This whole world is in darkness, man. All right? We're the only light that's out here, which that light is Yahweh Shai, which he only gave to a certain group of men. All right? So let me close it out, this precept. Psalms 146, verse 2. That's what King David said. While I live, I will praise Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I will sing praises unto my power while I have any being. So that's what we got to do, man. That's that's you got to keep praising Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. All right. While we have any being, okay, because we want that reward, man. Okay. Then, like Paul said, necessity is laid upon us, man. Okay, so we got to run to receive that prize, man. Like I said, this is no light thing. Okay. Our office is unique. This is the highest calling in the universe, man. All right. So we got to let our light shine before men. All right. So with that, let's say, giving all praise, Yahweh, Shimei, Shah, Shalom.